How's it going? This is Max. I am going to cover the simplest version of LinkedIn ads remarketing that you can be using for your B2B business to drive more, not just leads, but also conversions, because you can use this remarketing to chase existing leads that you're maybe already getting into your business. But I'm going to keep it very straight to the point. My name is Max. I run a paid ads agency that does this for a living. So that's why I know about it. And we've seen a lot of success with LinkedIn ads in particular and really enjoy it as a platform. And the remarketing is some of the cheaper parts of running LinkedIn ads. If you want to do a more substantial, complete funnel within LinkedIn, it can be two and a half thousand a month in terms of ad spend really as a starting point. But this can be done with say 500 to a thousand pounds a month and you can get a lot back from it. So let's dig into it. I'm just going to be talking primarily about the audiences part and I can do a follow up video from this, which is going to look at how to actually create the campaigns in terms of the creatives, the audiences and other bits and pieces in terms of building the campaigns but today we're going to just look at the actual audiences so where you go to firstly is within plan and then audiences this is a dummy account we're looking at right now uh, connected to snowball creations so we want to combine the, a few different fo forms of remarketing the simplest is anyone who's been to your website anybody that's engaged with your company page and anybody that's viewed videos of yours that are on the platform possibly in other campaigns you might not have the video views yet but at the very least you should have some site traffic and you should have people visiting your company page so if we what we all we need to do I've already created these but I'm going to do them again come in here to create an audience you let's do the simplest one first so we can say website we'd say all site visitors and then you can obviously do any of these if you have a lot of traffic you could do 60 or 90 uh, if you have an absolute ton of traffic we might even do 30 but generally you want to follow people for a long period of time and then if you don't have much traffic and you kind of have a very small quantities you might need to go to 180 let's just say it's 90 and so here you can just put in for example the url of our our website so in our case that is just snowballcreations.com and then just change that to contains so anything that just contains snowball creations now will be included so that should mean any traffic for all site visitors in the last 90 days so i put that into place you can do other fancy things but this is basically just going to grab anyone who's been to your website in the last 90 days and i'm not going to actually save that because we've already got it let's go all website traffic this one originally there you go so snowballcreations.com contains last night's days all website traffic i generally like to put the date range in here so it's easier to understand what's there and that's the website one that so that's how easy that is just to be clear it, it sounds much more complicated than it is yeah no kidding and then we want to create one that's going to capture retarget by anyone who's engaged with the company page so click into that list company page company page engaged so you can either do just visited it or click to call to action the call to action one is going to be tiny so i generally do the visited the page company page visits and again you can do 90 up to even 365 for this but i'm going to go with 90 in this case and then you can hit agree and continue i'm not going to do it because we've already got that but let's click on this one for example 180 days company page visits etc so that's the company page one and then lastly we can do video views so this is retarget by we've done company page we've done website and then we've got video views so this is people who viewed at least and then you put in how much of a percentage of the video of course basically if someone who's watched all of the video is way better a quality of a user but the number of people that will get to 97% is very very small so you often need to be doing 75 50 or even 25% if you're just starting with remarketing and you have a tiny number of videos and not much traffic you might need to use 25% and they're ultimately still better than people that haven't watched any video so it is still remarketing and it's still people worth following up with that makes sense and then the way you do it is you go through and you select any campaigns with videos so you can see video views at three Say so this one, for example, has had 3,000 video views at 25%. If we click, I think it's going to be here. Is there some other videos we've had? But if we change this to 50, you can see that drops down to 1,375, down to 800. 
97%, 500. You can see how it drops off quite dramatically as we go to this higher, but then that will be a better quality. So depending on your budget and other factors, you might want to be playing with that on how big to make that audience. So that's the main ones. The other really nice one to mention is if you're already doing lead gen ads, so that's within LinkedIn, you can create forms within LinkedIn. You can do remarketing to people that have opened the form, not filled in. So someone who has <coughs> gone to this SaaS uh, video ad that we've been running, uh, you can see 800 people have opened that, but not necessarily completed it. So if we remarket to people that have opened it, but not completed it, well, then that's a great opportunity to chase those people because they've shown an interest. They've almost filled the form out, but for whatever reason, they didn't quite do it. So that is how you can pull, push them through to the point of actually completing the form and speaking to you. So that's a great form of remarketing as well. So these are some of my favorites. So if I was to do some really simple LinkedIn remarketing, I would be combining anyone who's visited the website in 90 or 100 days, for example, anyone who's engaged or visited the company page. And then we've got anyone who's viewed a certain amount of, of videos that we've posted. And if you're already running LinkedIn lead gen forms, then anyone who's opened the lead gen form as well is a really great audience to target. So I would be combining those in a kind of a stack. So we do a similar thing within Facebook ads where we're combining Instagram and Facebook engage with website visitors, with anyone who's added to basket and things like that into one single remarketing audience. And then we do a general remarketing to those groups. And that is a really nice way to kind of hit all of your bases and really help your salespeople convert better because you're reminding these leads that you exist through the ex entire experience experience of potentially working with you. It's, it's really effective for that. And also if you're doing cold ads or you're doing a lot of SEO or just generally driving lots of traffic, this gets people to make that inquiry in the first place. So I really enjoy this. If you'd like me to do a video where we go a bit deeper into actually creating the campaign, the remarketing campaigns, the entire campaign group around these audiences, then leave a comment or let me know and I'll try and follow up with that uh, in the coming weeks. I think that could be really valuable for you as well. And otherwise, I hope this is of use straight away. It's a lot simpler than I think people realize and I think you can get a lot from it if you run a B2B business at the moment and are looking to, to make more sales. Otherwise, I hope this has been of use and I will see you in the next one.